So, you're the kid on that show? <laughs> my, my mouth and my throat were dry. My palms were sweating. My heart pounding in my ears as I answered. Um, yes, sir. Uh, hi. <laughs> my name's Will. He continued to look at me. He carefully wiped my hand on the hip of my spacesuit, and I extended it. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> he didn't take my hand. What is that, your spacesuit? He made a noise that was sort of halfway between a cough and a laugh. Oh, oh this? Yeah. It's not as cool as yours, but um, I mean, it's, you know, it's what they tell me to wear. I put my hand down. I really wanted to leave. I felt a little lightheaded. Why wouldn't Captain Kirk shake my hand? Why didn't he like my spacesuit? Did he see the fake muscles? Maybe he didn't like the color. I didn't like the color. I became hyper aware of the spandex and the muscles clinging to my body and going up my butt. I longed for the comfort of my fleece jacket. Well, he asked. Oh my God, he'd asked me a question and I missed it. Oh, excuse me. I replied, I said, what is it that you do over there? Oh, um, well, I'm an acting ensign, and uh, sometimes I pilot the ship. I thought maybe he would be impressed that I'd already logged several hours at the helm of the Enterprise D. even 16 yet. <laughs> Maybe we could talk about what it's like to fly the Enterprise and go around the galaxy and stuff. Well, I would never let a kid come onto my bridge. Put up a creep. James Tiberius Kirk of the Starship Enterprise 1701 and Enterprise 1701A, the only person in Starfleet to ever defeat the Kobayashi Maru, the man who invented the Corbomite Maneuver, the man who took the Enterprise to the Genesis planet to return Spock's Katra, the man who I had admired since I was eight years old, was immediately transformed into William fucking Shatner. <laughs> say goodbye to the still photographer who had made the fateful introduction, but he had vanished as well. Thanks, Dick. I walked back to my own stage with my head down, avoiding eye contact the entire way. When I got to the entrance, I found Mandy and I asked her to unzip my costume so I could put my fleece back on. As she unzipped the back, she said, did you get to meet William Shatner? Yeah, I didn't want to let on that I was upset. What's wrong, she said. She handed me my fleece jacket of concern in her eyes. Well, I hesitated. Because if I said it out loud, then I would make it real. Um, he was a dick to me. <laughs> oh, Mandy, turns out that Bill Shatner's a dickhead. <laughs> Her eyes widened and she gasped. What? Why? What happened? I fought back tears and I recounted our introduction. What an asshole! Oh, I'm so sorry. I nodded my head and she gave me a hug. 
I took a deep breath, shrugged my shoulders, and walked back to my trailer, where I sat down and cried. I had spent weeks getting up the courage to meet this man, and in five minutes he had insulted and humiliated me. He had reduced me from peer to peon. I wore my stupid costume that I hated, thinking it would impress him, and he made fun of it. Fifteen minutes later, an assistant director knocked on my door and told me that they were ready for me on set. I stood up, wiped off my face, and walked into the stage. I took my, set, my seat on the bridge of the Enterprise D next to Brent Spiner. I heard about Shatner, Brent said. <laughs> you did? Yeah. You know he wears a toupee, right? <laughs> I giggled. <laughs> no, I did not do that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's balder than old Baldy up there. <laughs> I giggled some more as the start of adrenaline began to release through my veins. <laughs> that is bald. <laughs> Brent put his hands on the console. The first AD said, this will be picture. We all focused. Picture is up, very quiet, please. Roll camera, action, said the director. Patrick entered from his wedding room and walked to the captain's chair. Mr. Crusher, take us out of the moment. Land a course for the Ramatis system. Warp six. I sir. My fingers danced across the con. Of course laid in so. Make it so, Mr. Crusher. The camera creaked back on the dolly track as the Enterprise D went to warp speed. on the Enterprise. <laughs> There's a bit more to the story, but I've used up half of our time already telling it, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it there so that we can uh, take some Q&A and enjoy the rest of our second Sunday morning together. Uh, you can see this story in its entirety. I'm sure it's on YouTube from Wilkin vs. Paul and Storm. You can come see Paul and Storm and me and Adam Savage and special guests in Woodstock whenever we come to a city near you, which isn't going to be very soon. But uh, there's going to be Will Wheaton vs. Paul and Storm later this year, probably very certainly coming to a town near-ish to you, right? You think? Yeah. Same, same continent. Yeah, totally. Same We're going to be on the same planet, so you got that. Um, please thank Paul and Storm.